in the small Irish village of Blarney, hey. where tradition is as strong as the famous medieval castle. A story of a young local heroine has become part of modern folklore. E multiplied by D or equal to one. She's a very clever girl. You did this for fun? <laughs> Blarney's favorite e. daughter. Come on, hop. 17-year-old Sarah Flannery. A busy Irish teenager. How are you doing, Sarah? Hmm? From a large family hey. who divides up her day and makes every minute count, literally. We've discovered now, we've found, in a sense, three subgroups of order. You have a passion for math, right? I never really thought about it, but I really, I really do like to see it working. To 1.7 meters, seconds to the minus two. And I especially like the area that I did cryptography in. You heard her right, she said cryptography. Cryptography is such a hot topic at the moment. It's the mathematical art of writing messages and code. In a world where computers run everything, these codes are critical because they keep computer email and business transactions confidential and secure. If all this sounds complicated, it's because it is. Did you go into this hoping to make a lot of money? <laughs> no. The reason I was interested in it was because it was such a practical application of okay. maths and you could really see the maths working. Last year, Sarah made a calculated move. While working as an intern at a Dublin cryptography company, her mentor, William White, gave Sarah a formula just to see what she could do. When Sarah came in, we said to her, do you fancy having a look at this algorithm? Uh, it looks like fun. You know, see if I could do anything with it, and so I did. She spotted something that we should have spotted. They had just never got around to tackling it themselves. She said, Dad, that's it, that's it. Look, this and this, we picked the primes this way. Her father, a mathematician, knew Sarah was on to something big. She said, look, Dad, that's it. And we both just jumped around this room with, <laughs> with, with joy. It was the purest form of joy I've ever experienced. Th this is the big one. In less than a year, the winner for 1999, Sarah Flannery from Blarney County Cork. Sarah's secret code earned her first prize in a prestigious young scientist competition. Cryptography, a new logarithm versus the RSA. Awarded by Ireland's prime minister. Why did this code create such a stir <laughs> when word got out? Um, it was because of the speed and because of all the mystery surrounding it. Your system is how much faster than the existing standard? It, it's about 33 times faster. 33? Yeah. 33 times faster than any secret code out there. Her formula may just revolutionize computer commerce around the world. Sarah became an overnight sensation. Since the media picked up on the story, she's been inundated with job offers from international computer firms and scholarships to respected universities. And while no one has put a price on her formula, several experts believe that this schoolgirl from Blarney could be sitting on a small fortune. If everything goes as planned, then there could be a lot of money made. The prospect of the proverbial pot of gold... Just loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of cards. ...has brought people out of the woodwork. Free internet for life. In three weeks, we've had easily 300 phone calls. Ding, ding. Where's the phone? <laughs> the phone was ringing. Yeah. And it's the... And the... Well, you know who it's for, Sarah Flannery. <laughs> 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 Your algorithm could be worth a lot of money someday. Are you interested in the money? If I, if, I, if I had it, I wouldn't say no to it. The very fact that people have been so obsessed with it and everything just kind of turns you off. And it just, it just ch changes people, I think. <laughs> but so far, the fame and all the talk of potential riches <laughs> hasn't changed her. She's really modest about it. She doesn't really talk about it. <laughs> it hasn't gone to her head? No. We've been at pains to tell people, or to point out that though she's been labelled a genius, that she's not that. She's a very clever girl who did a lot of very good mathematics because she became pa very interested and passionate about the project she was doing. And that's the real mover, and that's, th that's what I think is very, very important for young people to realise, that you only do good work 
if you enjoy it. And the good work that Sarah has accomplished must now survive the rigors of extensive testing. It has not been tested by the great intellects of the world. Sarah's potential fortune hangs in the balance. How do you think you would deal with failure, should it happen? How a failure happen? I just think it makes things more interesting. <laughs> um, I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> it's her courage, or her, almost her fearlessness. She just gets on with it. She just pioneers. It's that quality of Sarah that I admire. And action. Still ahead. I offer something that they want. Is there a wrong way to make your fortune? So you went from the back pages of Jugs to the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Go figure. <laughs> She's come a long way to strike it rich. This is the mugshot from when I was arrested. That's next.